Hello and welcome. My name is Christy and I am a reference and technology librarian at the Public Library of Brookline and I'm here today to show you how to set up and use the library's button makers. Let's get started. To follow along, you'll need a button making kit from the library, at least one button set made up of a front, back, and cover. You can purchase these when you check out the button maker. We just charge 25 cents per set to cover our costs. Some paper to turn into a button and a pair of scissors. Find a good spot to work, preferably away from anyone who might be trying to study or read in the library, and open up the button making kit. Inside, you should find a button maker, a circle punch, and a small silver cylinder. This is part of the circle punch, and you can set it inside the center if it isn't already there. Next, grab your scissors and the paper you'd like to turn into a button. I'll be using a page from a damaged book, but you can also use magazines or print your own images. We don't recommend using cardstock or glossy photos because they're usually too thick to seal into the button properly. Slide the image you'd like to cut into the slot in the side of the circle punch. You might have to cut your piece of paper down a bit for it to fit, like this. The circular window at the top of the punch previews what you'll be cutting out, so be sure to center your design the best you can. When you're happy with how it looks, just push down on the lever to cut a circle, then tap the silver cylinder from the bottom to get the paper out. Be sure to pull the lever back up and remove any leftover paper scraps for the next patron. Now it's time to create your button. You'll notice that the button maker has two circular compartments that spin underneath the lever. Grab a button front, that's the metal piece without a pin, and place it smooth side up into the compartment that it fits into without wiggling when you touch it. Next, layer your paper cutout on top of the button front with the design facing up towards you. Then put the clear plastic film circle on top of that. When your layers are all set, spin the full compartment so it's under the base of the lever, then push the lever down over the button. You might need to stand up to get enough force. When you lift the lever, you shouldn't see any button parts left in the compartment because they're being held up under the lever. Take your button back and place it pin side down or away from you in the compartment you didn't use the first time. Then spin it so it's under the center of the lever. Press the lever down one more time, then spin the compartment to retrieve your button. That's it, you're ready to get crafting. Don't forget to check out all the tools and machines in our Idea Space collection at brklib.com slash ideaspace. Thanks for following along and happy making. Bye-bye. <laughs>